So, here we are in Mission at, uh, I guess it's uh, the Dad's Father's Day car show special. Check this out. <laughs> These are all hot rods, trucks, cars, all makes models, bikes, low riders, everything. And unique stuff. And unique stuff. And so, how many cars approximately we have here, Steve? I think the last count I saw was a ticket that said 900. So, and of course we got some tidbits, right? Perfect. <laughs> I'm not gonna do a show without one. So, 1861, St. Mary's Mission School founded this area. And uh, founded by the Oblates of Mary Immaculate, which is a Catholic church from France. So with this car show and its history, you're huffing a bit. <laughs> I'm a. It's, <laughs> it's a look big where we hill. Came from. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't seem that much, but it's quite a steep hill. It is. It's a climb to get up here. Let right. me tell you, it's not one of those things where you know I'm a big time actor and I get to have my golf cart to come up here. <laughs> All right, Mr. Ricardo, get out of the car. <laughs> I walked it. Yeah, so. we exercise it, and every That's time it. we feel like exercise, <laughs> we lie down until the feeling goes away. Yeah, yeah. my legs are numb. It's time for a beer. <laughs> So, there's 1,300 volunteers that do this event every year for the last number of years. So kudos to them for keeping the field looking great and to have these many cars. And it's, I mean, it's, it's a spectacular view. You got it Mount is. Baker in the background and you got hot rods upon hot rods, new and old. Yeah. There's just getting Baker there if we can get it. It's, there it is, big old Mount Baker. No steam today. No. And no, it's not walking distance for those who are wondering about that. <laughs> not today. So, today's episode, we're just going to look around, see if we can find uniqueness. And I think we found a couple of really cool things. Yeah. One was a van. We'll get to that, and you'll see it during the episode. Yeah. Um, Got to mention one thing about all you guys watching this show, and I know you love cars, and that's why we do this. You got to respect a man's car. All right? Aye, aye. Don't put your hands on it. It's a car show of respect that you see, even if it's in general public, you're walking in the mall, parking lot, seat on the side of the street, admire it. Don't touch it, don't vandalize it, because karma will come back. Absolutely, so every time. One man's ride. Yeah. So on to the show. Let's check it out. It's cool. Thank you. That's cool. That's neat. Sounds good. I don't know if we're going to be able to see everything today. There's quite a bit of stuff it's, it's here. Too much to see. Yeah. Too much to see. But we'll give you all the main tidbits of the video. Yeah. And, and whatever we see, you'll see it on the show. Look at this. This thing's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. That would try to do it that way too. This Four busy years. Four busy years. Yeah. Four years of mine fly by and I still got nothing done. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The labor of love, you know. So we're walking through the car show and we meet up with your name again? Bruce. This is Bruce. Bruce. And this is Kenworth? Yeah, 1965 Kenworth. So talk about how did you, how'd you, how'd you get it? I bought it off the original owner in Prince George. Yeah. 1992. 1992? Yeah. He's passed on now. But, uh, last summer when we were in Prince George, I took him up to show his wife. Yeah, he I climbed don't know what I wanted. I didn't want to ruin that. Remembered the truck very well, the name, number of it, and everything. Now, was this truck used in service? Did you for him? Did you run it? Was it a service truck for him? Yeah, he it logged. 
Yeah. It was a walking truck. Yeah. But at first, but you, and then he ran Alaska Highway with it. Oh wow. A lot of modifications you've done to it, and it changes. Oh yeah, we did everything to it. I noticed you got a hardwood hardwood floor. You tap the back cabs obviously different. You got two chairs in there. Yeah, yeah we like took the bunk out, put chairs in. Yeah. And the complete we paint job. Yeah. Like, yeah. Love the paint job. It's paint green. <laughs> Yeah, every nut and bolt was, was off it. It was taken off, put back on, all redone. Yeah. Cool. No, I've never seen one in a car show. This is the first time seeing a rig at a car yeah. show. I was here two years ago with it, but I didn't make it last year. Fantastic. Cool. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time. Okay, no Cheers. problem. Yeah. Right on. You're seeing more and more rat rods. The resurgence of rat rods is came out of the what, the 50s and 60s? Yeah, and then yeah. all... Yeah. And these are just beautiful. A couple nice pair. And of course, the good old boys. Yeah, you cannot have a car show without a fire truck. A fire truck. Just in case. What do all little boys want to be? Firemen. Firemen. Yeah. In a truck. This is cool. They're both cool. <laughs> yeah. Let's check this stuff out. Look at that. Our count for today has already passed 1,000. We got 1,110 yeah. this one. There we go. Yeah. And it just keeps getting higher. Good old Ford fire truck. Bet you this has saved a few lives. To, could have some stories here. Oh, big time. Yeah. Lots of history. Thibodeau built. Pierreville, Quebec. Quebec, yeah. Quebec eh? Yes. Bonjour. It's a Quebec car. Service truck at one time. Look at this. And it just never ends. Like there's a more, more rat rod truck. Look at that. Jeepster Commando. This thing's rather interesting. It's very. Uh, it's kind of smoothed out and tweaked. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. And then right next to it, an old Chevrolet. With the white walls and the yeah. red rims. Yeah. Kind of all patinaed, cool. very unique. Yeah, uh, it's, it's there it's again. Out. Yeah, and a judge. And a judge. A judge. Too cool. Yeah, it's a Too Hearst equipped. You know, I, I'm one for the badging, right? Check that out. Check that out. Yeah, <laughs> shit. That's cool. <laughs> nice. Does goat. <laughs> That's sweet. <laughs> Look at the flame on this. Look at this. Oops. That is wicked. That's wicked, eh? And new cars too. Yeah, the newer and and Scion imports. Yep. Right? Imports. We've got another wagon over there. Here again getting back to that no. rod more, yeah. more of a fresher color. Look at this yeah. beautiful yeah. paint job. Yes. And the white walls again. I'm always a sucker for the white walls. Are ya? Well, yeah, yeah. It just adds so much character to <laughs> Another Cuda. Another Cuda. Cuda's all coming out. Wow. Craziness. Cuda day for it. Nice. I got rid of all the body seams, eh? Right. No license plate, no fuel filler, no doors, no hinges, no windows in the back. I fetched the, the rear view camera. And then lifted it uh, six inches all together. So I, how did, how did you I, get the van? Let's start with it. How did you come to getting this van? 1981, buddy. 81? Buddy of mine had one, and I wanted one. He said, there's one down the street. I went to look at the guy, and he goes, no, man, I'm looking for a car. So I went and bought a Vega. <laughs> I bought a motor, 
I put it in the Vega, I drove to the dude, and I went, huh? And he went, yeah, it's a fair trade. And I got the van. You got the van. Yeah. And what year is this van again, sorry? 67. 67. 67 yeah. Chevy? GM. GM. Yeah. GMC. Worker van? Handy van. Handy van, that's it. Yeah. And then you you did all the work, all the body work to it. You covered all the windows. Nobody, I didn't do the body work. No? I did all the sheet metal. All the sheet metal. Yeah, so sheet metal awesome. Work. Yeah, yeah. So you know, and then all the custom suspension. You got, you got backup mirror here or backup uh, camera? Camera, here? yeah. Yeah, I French in the exhaust. And that looks uh, cool. you know, and then no body seams, right? There's no, there's no more seams anywhere. Right? Everything is continuous. Yeah, on, on propane. No fuel filler. It's, the, this is a propane tank for my fridge. Oh, okay. okay. I, I have an auxiliary fridge in there because I go camping with it a lot. Yep. And uh, after a few days, you check it out. Yeah. Very cool. What motor's in it? It's got a 350 stroke. So 383. It's actually a uh, 385 because it's uh, poured over 40. Okay. But yeah, not that technical. Technical. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, and then I, you know, I. So you got disc in the front. You got drums in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's stock, uh, half done four wheel drive GM, okay. right? All right. My old man had an '87 pickup truck sitting there, so I took the dip so. But in order to get a drive shaft, I had to put a chain shaft in there. Very cool. And that shortened everything six inches, and then I moved everything six inches forward, so I have a 12 inch drive shaft. Yeah. Yeah, I put a sunroof. Yeah, put a sunroof on it, and then the fridge vent up top, right? I, yeah. I bring the air from underneath and exhaust it on top, so I don't have any vents on the side, right? Yeah. You get a shot of the interior. The interior, you know, it's pretty much cargo in the back. I, I redid the upholstery in the front a little bit, but I like to keep things. Uh, so, so, well, somewhat original, original too, right? Yeah, so it's, cool. I like to keep it Saying I was locked out of the house, know, I'm, I'm like, yeah, this dog, like, oh, this sweet. air channel is being like, okay, modified. I'll be there in a second. I'm like, yeah, we're you know, in the bottom of the driveway. We're going to the still somewhat original. You might have a high pain tolerance. Yeah, one day when I don't go camping no more, I'll carpet it and, you know, and make it a, you know, one show to show thing. Right now, I drive it every day. Yeah, did you see it? Did you get a, a shot of the sign on the front on the side in the front? That's my business. So I do suspension work for a living. Well plug it for you. And then uh, cool. Awesome. So there's another cool shag and wagon we've been talking about. Shag and wagon. <laughs> I haven't shagged anybody in it. Not yet. In the long, not at all. I used to a lot. I used to a lot. And Other owner? Died down, but there, 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 yeah, you betcha. All right. It. There's a shacking contestant, so <laughs> we're good. Supposed to fit them all. Yeah, that's right, baby. Come on. That's a little unassuming. Nice. Very nice. So here we are, back in Lang in uh, Mission, with this gentleman. What's your name? Oh, Rob Hotel. Rob, what do you? This, these are fridges, right? Yes, they are. So can you show us one fridge? And you do you do all the work on it and everything else? Yeah, yeah. But they take these are old uh, old fridges which we restore and um, yeah, and just repaint. We like do like uh, we like to do custom orders for cars. We've got a '65 uh, K Mustang. We can do a like, '65 fridge matching paint job. Wow. Just to show the Super B is sort of that, you know, to show that out. Yep. Uh, I'd love to show the inside, I will, but the inside's not complete on this one. But no. what do we do? It's a start off? Yeah, yeah sure. We'll have stainless shelves put in on the end of the front here. Just actually didn't make it for today. It's cool. Very cool. Different styles and then... Yeah, and then also, I mean, you've got more artwork on it. 
Johnny Cash. Yeah. Johnny Cash. Yeah. yeah. I mean, all the different city. I mean, so you got a famous, you know. That is. So you, you do all, all that. All, all the artwork is done by yourself. Yes, it is. And yeah. then you got wow. Marilyn Monroe. Over yeah, here. I saw Marilyn. Uh, yeah, Marilyn actually, it's a really nice one from over here too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got some talent. Yeah. Thanks. Thank You're that. welcome. So yeah, what do you, uh, what do you, what's your average price range for one of these uh, Well, no, they, they, they would look, base around you know 1,500 star balls, uh, you know, depending on the artwork too, I mean, of course, yeah, how much detail goes in. Yeah, exactly, I've been sitting there for 20, 30 hours there rushing, you know. Very cool, very cool. Time cool. and yeah. cool. yeah. yeah. money. Yeah. Absolutely. How long does it usually take you to make one? Start based finish. on, say, like a myth of Maryland. Maryland would be, uh, oh, that'd be a couple of weeks probably, I mean, start, but I mean, I mean, that's how long it took me. You probably could do it quicker. Yeah. Depending. Um, yeah, like the four, two, three, four days. Sometimes I might waste the whole day doing it. Something's not right, and I'll arrange it and start again. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> but I don't count that in there. No. Uh, so, where do you find your favorite? Just anywhere? Craigslist. Yeah, like Craigslist. Um, yeah, eBay. Uh, yeah, word of sales. mouth. Yeah, exactly. Word of mouth. I can Very tell cool. people like uh, other friends out there to find them. I got one in Chinatown from a friend. So, it's free on Craigslist. So there you go. And how can, how can they find you? Um, got a website here. Oh, Tool Creations? Yeah, no, this one here for the fridge. It's custom and cool. RetroRefrigerators.com. Cool. Let me ask you. Yeah, I'll take one of those cards and then I'll put it on our site for sure. How did you get started? Did this start out as a hobby or something? Or? It started, you know what? I started out, uh, I was doing the clothing business. And then I was always chasing people for money. Mm. <laughs> so I figured, you know what, I want to get something that's cool like that. And the airbrushing, you know, I, so I started getting into the airbrushing. And I just figured, you know, if I'm painting for somebody, basically, you don't get on painting until you pay me kind of thing. Especially if they give you me something to paint. Yeah. So I thought it was an easy way to kind of get rid of the chasing people for money part. <laughs> that's how I started, really. And then I just kept on doing it. And then, uh, yeah, I, I yeah. mean, I love it. Yeah, it looks great. And, totally and I, I see you're wearing an uh, eye candy uh, shirt. Oh, it's for a tattoo shop. Yeah, uh, it's Miss uh, Spike. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Miss Spike, yeah, I know Miss Spike. I didn't actually awesome. get my work done there, but I go nope. in there and I always look at yeah. Oh, she's great. Sure, yeah, we're, we're actually planning to do a show down yeah, there. Yeah, to promote exactly Very cool. that. That's yeah. Awesome. Like this cool. Yeah. It's all about uh, giving it back. That's, That's right. It's right. all yeah. about giving it back. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you for your time. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And you'll see it on awesome. the show. All right. Thanks, guys. You bet. You're welcome. This is a, not your normal bike. Well, it's a Honda, kind of all decked out. At first, I thought it was a V8 bike. It's, uh, yeah, it, it yeah, it's got looked that like look. it. But look at the beautiful chrome on it. It's, it's a gorgeous bike. Trike, actually, with a pup. With a trailer pup. It's awesome. The Avante. Very unique car. Studebaker, ahead of its time. Couple Studebakers. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> All right. There you go. Hey, all right, so we're getting close to the end of another cool episode here at Mission at the Father's Day Car Show. Thunder Kings, this is the row. Check them out. And this is Pete's uh, ride. He's got an award coming to him today. 71, 70 Maverick. 70 Maverick, yeah. Things beautiful. And if you're wondering where to find Pete, he owns a collectible toy store in Langley. So, do check it out. We'll put the link for his store on the show. We got another cool ride here. This yeah. is a bit of a this is a bit of a, a hot rod put out by Kia. Yeah. Yeah. With a V8, you know. Yeah, it's 400, 420 horse on this thing. It's only a couple in Canada. Yeah. Nine. You know. Nine. Nine. And I got the first one. So there you go. There we yeah. go. He's a member of the uh, Thunder Kings. So but I'm pretty sure you have to have it turned on. You got nine of them. So a couple more to go. It's kind of close. Remember I said to him. Black Beauty. Well, Black, Black Beauty. Beauty. You know, Black Betty. The one Black we Betty. saw at the uh, Pontiac show. Yeah. Here we got a member of ours. 
This is a really cool rare piece. Yeah. Indianapolis 500. Special edition car. It's a neat ride, man. It's 2010. Yeah. Pushing over 400 horse, I believe. It is. Yeah. That's what Phil said. Lots of power. Yeah. And uh, good old uh, 1980 Corvette Stingray L82. Yeah. This thing's been reworked. The uh, the, the paint, I believe, is second paint. Uh, it's got some old paint, older paint on it. It's pretty good. Yeah, it looks but pretty he's good. really done a nice job yeah. in the engine. It's, it's and got some nice lines, and it just, it looks cool. It runs really good. Headers, you know, naturally aspirated. But uh, nice ride. Sounds yeah. really good too when it's uh, fired up. That's cool. It's cool. But for that, we got to end, man. So thanks for watching today's episode. Tune back. Check us out on Facebook. Dot com pretty soon. Enjoy your ride. Too much road, not enough time. We're going to close out with a cool scenery. Catch you next episode. You put her in the trunk for That's sure. Okay, member, we didn't say trunk. that. Nope. <laughs> I have to edit that crap out. <laughs> I could just hear that. I can't believe he said that. <laughs> That's the way I got it. <laughs> and more beautiful. That sound. Nice.